Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so I've just done my weekly maintenance, so the water's a little bit cloudy and there's stuff floating around, but um, I'm just going to show you uh, some of the things that I put in the tank, like the fertilizers and whatever. Um, I'm also going to talk you through the last video that I uploaded, the um, Corydoras pygmaeus spawning, um, and I'll talk about the fluval flora as well. So, um, as you can see, the hygrophyllas is growing really well on that right-hand corner there, all up behind there. Um, Rickettsia is growing in really nicely, just down here. Just need it to fill out at the edges uh, to hide some of that mesh a bit better. Uh, but I'm, I'm very happy with how it's doing. I could even bury that down in the substrate to hide that, but uh, I don't need to. So, yeah, that's doing well. You'll see these crypts. Just here, they're doing really well. The Anubis is doing fine, some new leaves. Um, these crypts just here are taking a little bit longer to grow in. Um, but there is new new leaves coming out of those, so that's good news. Um, the Rotala Wallichi at the back. There's also another piece that I've just planted there. Um, that's doing okay. Um, when I set up the CO2 on this tank, uh, that should really take off. So... Everything's fine on this tank. Um, what I add to the tank is Easy Life Profito. Um, it says 100 mil per 100 litres weekly. Uh, I like to divide that um, into my daily amounts. So I'll, I dose about 1 mil every day. Um, I also use Easy Life Carbo. Uh, as my liquid carbon source uh, and it, it does improve growth um, quite considerably um, but nothing near what uh, pressurized CO2 would do which is hopefully something I'm going to set up quite soon um, so yeah everything is doing fine there's a little bit of algae in that tank uh, but um, it's nothing to worry about it's kind of background algae I just don't have any algae eaters in there really um, Something else is the uh, the scallop badis have been getting sucked into the filter intake, um, and today when I did my maintenance, I found two of them down there in my filter. Um, so I'm gonna have to modify the filter intake a little bit to stop them getting sucked in. Uh, but I mean they're fine, um, so that's good news. Um, so now I'll take you over to the fluval flora, and we'll just have a. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I, I was going to tell you how um, the Corydoras spawned. Um, with most Corydoras, um, all you'll do is do a water change with slightly cooler water uh, and feed predominantly live foods or good frozen foods. Uh, you'll see at the moment I'm defrosting some bloodworm and just up here some Daphnia. Uh, bloodworm you don't want to feed too often, uh, I've said this before probably, um, but the staple diet of this tank is probably Daphnia, just because the scallop baddies won't eat anything else really. Um, so yeah, just uh, good foods and a slightly cooler water change should trigger spawning in uh, in most Corydoras. Um, so there we go, I'll move on to the fluval flora now. So you'll notice a few changes. <clears throat> The Rotala I've pulled out of this tank, uh, it was collecting algae really badly, it wasn't growing very well. Uh, well, the top of it was growing, the tips were growing really nicely, but the lower leaves weren't growing and it just looked a mess. Um, so you'll notice this is a bit all over the place at the moment, the uh, the water lily. Because I planted the hygro uh, hygrophila on this side, uh, it was blocking out some of the light, so the lily started growing again. It's quite interesting. Um, yeah, but I've got some plants arriving hopefully tomorrow. So I'll make a video tomorrow of those and you'll see how I plant those. Some of them are for in here, some of them are for the other tank. Um, what else is there? Something that's quite interesting. If you look at how the hyd uh, hydra hydrophila is growing in this tank, and then look at how it's growing in this tank, you'll see it's much more compact and bushy. And that's to do with the light. There's much more light on that tank. So, um, what else with this tank? The I mean, the plants are doing okay. Uh, there's a bit of algae in this tank. Um, 
and you'll kind of, if you look closely enough, you'll notice in the water column, <coughs> I think it's algae. Um, it might just be from the um, the maintenance I've just done where I've, I've shook up quite a lot of the, I mean, I, I just ripped all the uh, Rotala out of here, uh, and that might have, the disturbance might have sort of caused some of this, which you probably will see if you look close enough. I can see it through the, uh, through the little LCD screen on the back of the camera, but I, I don't know whether you can. But yeah, so the algae is something I'm wanting to deal with in this tank. Um, and I am using um, a product to deal with it. Uh, so I'll, I'll see how that goes and I'll, I'll tell, you, tell you how it's doing, if it works. Um, but yeah, everything's kind of growing a bit slower in this tank, apart from the uh, hygrophila, that's... You know, there's not much difference there. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it for the below the waterline part of this tank. Uh, now I'll take you above the waterline to look at the little thing up here. So you'll see that's uh, hydrocotyl uh, above water growth. And in there, we've got some uh, rickettsia in there as well and some hygrophila. Um, hygrophila should send out little purple flowers um, above water so I'm hoping that's going to grow in quite nicely um, a little tub of rickettsia is doing fine here it, it pearls quite a lot so there we go that's the growth on the on both tanks um, should be getting some more plants in tomorrow so I will see you then catch you later Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I didn't really do a milestone video when I reached uh, 100 subs. So, uh, here's to say thank you for uh, everyone to subscribing to me. Uh, thank you for your questions and comments and your likes and favourites. Um, it's, it's, it's really encouraging and uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, but something that I wanted to introduce was the some of my um, longer subscribers will will notice that the original intro disappeared uh, the little plasticine thing and that's because my laptop died and uh, I lost all my old videos and lost my uh, intro so since then I've been wanting to do kind of a, a rebranding of my channel almost um, so I have done that um, and that will be coming pretty soon so stay tuned for that there'll be a, a new opening sequence um, hopefully some more consistency in the in the opening music and, and it should be a better format as well so stay tuned for that um, and yes see you later